everybody, it's Kelly from Let's Get Clacking and in today's video we're going to go over some fun with some craft foam. Now craft foam for me is a little bit of new territory, I've never actually really played with it very much before, but I figured that this would be a great excuse to use my Cameo 4 and my craft blade. So we are going to turn this into this. This is a lovely little fun tutorial where you can use your craft foam to create little craft kits for your nieces and nephews, perhaps even your kids or maybe even to sell at some craft markets. These little kits are very easy to make and I'm going to show you how to cut everything at the same time. If you do enjoy this video, I would really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up and leave a comment to let me know what you're gonna cut with craft foam. If you really wanna help me grow my channel, I would really appreciate doing those two things as well as watching the video the whole way through. Those three things really help me to grow and bring you more craft videos in the future. Well, let's get clacking. Okay, so we start in Silhouette Studio, as always, and what I've done in this design is I've actually split it up into the different colors. Now, I've put little boxes around each of the different colors that we have, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the different color foam on the cutting mat exactly like you see in Silhouette Studio at the moment. So I'm going to take the yellow foam and I'm going to cut out this little box. So the box will be five centimeters by 10.1 or so. And I'll do the same with the green and the purple and the orange and black and etc. And when I put the foam onto the mat, I'm going to put it all onto the mat just like this. Just so that I can cut everything in one go, it'll be a lot quicker. Chances are one or two of them are going to lift just because, you know, that's how Murphy has it. But if you've got a sticky mat, um, then you shouldn't have to worry about lifting because it should all stay. And another thing that you'll see what I've done with this design is I've actually changed the colors of the different elements. So when everything is layered on top of each other in Silhouette Studio, I can get a feel for what it looks like. So whereas you will see it like this, when I was initially working on it, it looked a little bit like this. And as you can see, that's really cute and it's the perfect way to see if you like the kind of design. I had to kind of improvise a little bit with the color of the nose because I want to do that in a kind of a shiny rose goldy kind of color and couldn't exactly get that color exactly in Silhouette Studio. So I just had to work with um, what I have, but I think that looks pretty cute. I've got the rainbow hair going on there. Um, she's mostly pink and her horn will be a gold color with I think that one's actually the rose gold, and then this one's just the, the shiny glitter pink. So yeah, we'll have to see what it looks like when it's all done. A very important thing that we would need to do is to select all of the boxes and go into the send panel and turn the cut lines off for these boxes. So because we're not going to be using tool one, we're going to select no cut in any case, but then what we will do for the rest of the items, um, let's just select those. And we're going to select cut on tool two. That's how we switch between the tool, the, the, the two tools. So you can either use tool one um, to cut using, you know, the auto blade and your pens and things like that. Or you can use tool two, which will be like your craft, craft blade, which is what we're going to use today on the Cameo 4. If we were to cut this on the Cameo 3, then you would obviously just be using tool one and you could use your deep cut blade. So I'm going to head over to that side where my craft foam is and I'm going to start cutting all of the craft foam. So let's head over to the B-roll and let's get cutting. So now what we do is we take our pieces of foam that we have cut and we place them onto the mat just as they are in Silhouette Studio. Now I'm using a Cricut Strong Grip Mat, just because I don't have the Silhouette one. Um, just a side note, do not recommend permanently using Cricut mats in your Silhouette. These mats are slightly thicker than the Cameo mats and they will eventually lift up your rollers and they will you know, reduce the spring the springiness on your spring, which means that they won't grip your normal thinner silhouette mats as good. So it's okay for every now and then. I wouldn't recommend using it as a permanent thing. Now that's done. Label. These pages were about five rand each, just under five rand each. I got them from PNA. Everything is now stuck down, and then we can load it into our cameo.
can see the cut went through. Eject. Now let's go over why that happened. <sighs> okay, so I just filmed the entire thing of me taking all of this out of the little papers. And I forgot to press record. Anyway. So let me go over it again. This is obviously the, the remnants that we have of just popping the stuff out. Um, I, you know, you, you have all of these little bits because what happens when you're using the craft blade is the blade has to turn around. The craft blade and the auto blade, they both obviously move around while you're busy cutting. But the craft blade is significantly bigger than the auto blade. Obviously that's its design. What the craft blade then does is you can't cut one direction and then immediately lift it up and go in a different direction. The blade would then be facing the wrong way because it obviously needs turn time to swivel around to change to cut with a sharp side where you're needing to cut. So what it does is it will cut down here like this and then in order to turn the blade it then obviously if you think about this as the actual blade it then turns it around and then cuts in a different direction. So that's why you have all of these little sections because it needs to swivel the blade around. Then we have our bits, right? So obviously now everything's been cut and what you can do with this is you could sell this as a project just like this. I mean, this would be if you have a, you know, a little piece of paper with an outline of the unicorn or maybe even a cutout of the unicorn, which is what I'm going to do, um, that you can stick it onto. And then you have a little picture of the unicorn and you can say like this kit includes blah, blah, blah. This could be a great little craft kit to sell at a market for young children. Um, I'm not really sure what age bracket you would use it for. Um, me not being very much of a child person, don't kill me. I wouldn't know you know, maybe five to six year olds obviously because they've got the dexterity of you know gluing things and they know not to you know stick the glue in their mouth i'm assuming so you could totally do it like that um you could use it as a, a birthday card which is probably what i'm going to be using it for but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut out the outside the outline of the unicorn and then i'm going to stick all of this stuff on okay now we have our unicorn cut we can start sticking it down very basic stuff i'm just using some jewel bond um, I know scrapbookers will probably be having a heart attack right now. I like having that little gap that kind of separates the head a little bit. It looks quite cute. The nose. We have the nose trills. Definitely didn't cut all right, but that's okay. What's a craft project without a little fail, right? Is it just me or does she like totally look like a school teacher? Like one of the coolest school teachers. I mean, everybody's had that cool got that that school teacher in their life. You know, one that was like super super cool they absolutely love them she totally looks like that teacher let's stick her eye down i knew i should have used my xyron my xyron would have been so much better suited for this project <laughs> And that is our little project done. We've obviously taken all of the craft foam and turned it into this gorgeous little project um, that, like I said, you can turn into a little craft kit or a card. Um, it's now all stuck onto one page. You could even try and cut out the little sections so that you don't have to do overlaps and things like that if you wanted to. It's probably a lesson learned when it comes to craft foam. You don't necessarily want to have it overlapping all the time um, and to make sure that your mat is your craft foam stuck down on your mat so that you won't have 
this little situation right here. But I think I, I think it turned out beautifully. A little rainbow hair, obviously orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, um, and a beautiful shiny horn, nose, glasses, and heart. I really love it. Thank you so much guys for watching my video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you do make some of these little craft kit type things with your cameo, let me know. Share them on social media and tag me at Let's Get Clacking. You can subscribe to my channel on this side. On this side, YouTube will show you my latest video and just below that, something that they think that you'll enjoy. Until next time, everybody, remember, be kind to someone today. Cheerio.